So this is Snake Bite by the Sensational Alex Harvey Band. Uh oh. There's a story that goes with this song. I bet there is. Would you like to hear it? Um, this song <laughs> represents your wildest experience in your career. So yeah, brother, look at me. Yeah. We play a club in Decatur, Illinois. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We go out there, and this was outside of our usual loop. And the place was called Oil Can Harry's. Okay. We get there, and the place is a strip club, rock club. Nice. Most of the places we played in the 80s were strip club, rock clubs. All right. Either one, either the girls dance at one end of the room and the band play to the other, or the girls would dance during the day and the band would play at night, which is what this scenario was, right? All right. We go in there, you know, before the load in, you just go hang out and eat whatever. And there's a girl on girl show happening on the stage. 100% triple X what's going on here. You know, it's not like some R rated. This is right. not like <laughs> right. really hardcore. Yeah. Right. And the feature entertainer is just unbelievable. She's built like Jessica Rabbit, you know, and, you know, at 24. I am who I am. Yeah. Right. So she comes off the stage. I strike up a conversation with her like I do. Right. And me and her hook up. Well, it turns out that we're hooking up in between each set that we play that night. All right. Right? Yeah. And we go to the back to the hotel that night, and her and me and that woman break everything in the bathroom having sex. The sink, the toilet, there's water running everywhere. She's riding me like I'm a rodeo animal. Yeah. And as much as a horny bastard that I was, I was clearly outmatched. You know? <laughs> clearly outmatched. You gotta see the picture of you from this time. Chris, can you throw that picture up while we're telling this story? So, okay. I'll survive this, right? We get kicked out of that hotel the next day, of course, because... Uh, yeah. Right there, right? Oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Kill thing. So, uh, next day, the club, you know, me and this chick, again, in between every set, me, we're going to the bathroom, and we're having, uh, we're having this big... Like, we're busting the stalls down. I mean, this yeah. bitch is wild, and I'm really unprepared for this. But right. I don't want to back out now. Yeah. Right? So I'm dedicated. So we, right. we do our thing. That night, we go back to our hotel. And I said, why can't we go back to your place? She goes, that's complicated. I said, well, pff, I'm not complicated. Yeah. yeah. All right. But not my problem. Not my <laughs> problem. So we get kicked out of that place, and now we're living in the parking lot. So I go in the club, that, which is now a Friday, and I go in, and the manager says, hey, I want you to meet the owner. He just came back in from out of town. I said, this is great. Uh-huh. Right? And I walk around the corner. And this is the biggest biker I ever saw in my life. He was almost seven feet tall. I remember looking up at him. Right? And he had this, this all these patches over. He's a real hardcore biker. And he had something else. He had, oh, he had, oh, that's right. He had his arm around that chick I've been banging for the past two days. Yeah. He goes, this, hey, my name's Rilkin. This is my old lady Candy. And she's like winking at me, you know? And, yeah. and like, he is so much <laughs> taller than her. There's no way he can see the wink. You know, and I'm about to die of a heart attack. I'm like, uh, 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 yeah, man. Uh, nice to meet you. Right? And I remember specifically walking back to the stage so I could throw up. Yeah. You know? And she walks behind me and she goes, come on, let's sneak away and go to the bathroom. I said, are you out of your mind? With this Goliath back yeah, there who yeah. looked like he killed three people on the way over here? You did it, didn't you? Yeah. You know I did. Hell yeah. You know I did. <laughs> And I, but I did not want to. Right, Let that be of course. said. Let that be of said. Course. But here's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've been. I had been through a couple of rough days with this chick. Right. Yeah. And now the stress of this man murdering me. <laughs> we take off into the in the woman's bathroom, and all of a sudden. I'm having a hard time performing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I mean, the stress of this guy dragging me down the, the highway. And at this point, man, I mean, I was just, I was low on body fluids. You yeah, know? you were wore out. Nothing but dust, you know, just a, <laughs> a flag that said bang, coming down, you know. And uh, I was unable to get it together, man. And she grabbed my genitalia, like pulling up, like, like she was pulling carrots out of the earth. Oh, well, you start a lawnmower. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she said, uh, listen, man, you got to get this together. <laughs> Like, that ain't helping. You're not right helping, off. right? So thank God, thank the Lord that she left with that man that night, right? Got in his bike and split, right? She comes back the next day, and we're back to the routine, man. She wants me to go in the bathroom with her. And this is the last night there. I have to survive three more bathroom trips with her, and I'm out of here, right? Well, what happens is one of our guys, our lead singer, 
decided to poop in the parking lot by the bus, and then he stepped in it and it brought it back on our bus. Oh no! Now that's really horrible. Yeah, right? that's terrible. It's one. It's bad enough that one of our guys had a hobby of pooping in between parked cars out in the parking lot. Right. Because he loved the idea of someone stepping in it and, <laughs> and taking it into the car. And he fucked himself. And he fucked himself. Oh. So he dragged his poop on. And so what the, what this happened is that we had just stolen that rug from a truck stop a couple weeks earlier. Yeah. You know, and now it had poop all over it. So Human poop. Human poop. Yeah. Right? And we're not cleaning it. You know? <laughs> so what the guys did is they took that rug out and they stole the Harley rug that was in the entrance of this club. <laughs> Right? So the show's over. We're loading out as fast as humanly possible. Yeah. You could believe how fast I want to leave. Yeah, you're out. I'm out of here. Yeah. Right? That biker comes up to me. He corners me. He puts his finger in my face. He goes, I know what you did. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. You know, I remember like having a heart attack. I remember this. First, but I remember running my tongue along the inside of my teeth like goodbye old friends. Yeah. <laughs> and he says... I know you stole that rug. And I know you guys trashed that hotel that my buddy owned. And one of you guys shit in one of the drawers. I did not know about that. I did not know about that. And like instantly I'm like, oh my God. He's not going to kick my ass for doing his woman. Yeah. He's going to kick my ass because we stole his stuff and wrecked his buddy's hotel. Yeah. You know? And at that moment, it just to cap it off. Yeah. She took a that woman, that candy woman, she took a beer bottle and cracked it across that guy's skull and said, no one fucks around on me. It turns out that he was messing with one of the bartenders while me and her <laughs> were doing in the bathroom. Uh. And now she's throwing beer bottles at him and he's hitting him back with a pull cue and we're just loading out. It's like, I will see you later. Wow. <laughs> And we slide it out of there. Yeah, I bet. And the song that she was playing when I first walked in that room yep. was Snake Bite. There you go. <laughs> and I lived. Wonderful story. And you lived. <laughs>